Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit Foul Coast. We're where we left off in the last video about Fleetwood around the dock area. So this is part three of this week's of this week's video. So we're at the end of Dock Street now, outside the dentists where we, which put my teeth in, which was the furthest point where we got to. So we're going to we're going to take a walk down this end of Dock Street, and we're going to see what we can see what we can see, <clears throat> because this is an area of Fleetwood which was once absolutely thriving with industry and life and work. All these side streets here um, are still busy spots, still absolutely full of businesses. I'm just going to walk across to the edge of the car park at the health centre um, and show you where we are again because we're against the edge of the river wire here. <coughs> um, looks like they're in a roaring trade here. Mind you, having said that, I bet they're doing the Covid jabs. That'll be why it's so full. So I'll just show you in fact, that's the footpath on video number two when we went through the, the big roundabout at Asda. This is the little footpath I mentioned that comes along the, the side of the, the quay. And you can just see there in the distance the river wire. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Unfortunately, it's picking more of the, the fence up than it is the river but you can see it through the gap so it sort of gives you the the idea where we are so this is fleetwood health and well-being centre so in there there are gp surgeries um there's a the, the walking clinic where you go for emergency out of hours treatment um there are all kinds of things it's a it's a really good really good building relatively new as you can see from the style of it and that's built on what was the old dock land and as i was saying all these side streets here so this one's london street in fact <laughs> I'm going to prove my point about Fleetwood being confusing in a second because I know from memory that when you come out of the door of the Health and Wellbeing Centre, so you come out of the main door and the view as you stand and look down London Street is the Mount, which you know is on the seafront right at the other side of Fleetwood. <laughs> confused you will be there you go <coughs> so there's a tram that's going down lord street so if you just went in a straight line in fact that building that you can see right at the end with the pointed the sandstone building with the pointed roof that's the tea room at the back of the mount because obviously when fleetwood was laid out it was a plant town and it was designed around a sort of a half wheel design by Sir Peter Hesketh Fleetwood and Decimus Burton which doesn't help either but if you just carry on driving you'll always come out at something that makes sense <laughs> eventually <laughs> and just down here on the right hand side will make a lot more sense when we get past this past this fence, this is the old um, car park that the container lorries used for the roll on roll off terminal. So when you got, when we had a, a ferry service delivering, delivering to, um, let me just slot through, delivering to <coughs> the Isle of Man and whatnot, this is where the containers were parked waiting for the waiting for the ferries 
And if you've been to Fleetwood for Tram Sunday, you might have actually parked on there. Let me just get my phone back through the gap. That's it. <clears throat> um, so this was the old entrance. And some time ago, there used to be a little cabin. In fact, you can see the concrete pad there that it was sat on. There used to be a concrete cabin that was the gatehouse, similar to the one on the, the main dock at the moment. So this is part three in our weird and wonderful walks where, where it's going to be quiet this week. Filmed on the 12th of January, 2021 and we've deliberately selected a variety of places to visit where we knew it would be quiet and there won't be many people about so that's warren street that again leads straight through the the town because publishing videos for visit foul coast is part of our business it's our paid employment it's not a hobby much as it's good fun and we love, we love talking to everybody, it's not a hobby. <clears throat> and it's the way that we earn a living, like everybody else does. And sadly, we've not qualified for any of the government grants. So every so often, I'm going to need to come out and make videos for you lovely people because I can't make videos of fleet well, from my desk, can I? Apart from which, we know that hundreds of you, in fact thousands, have enjoyed watching these and it's, it's kept you connected to the seaside and it's given you, given you a bit of interesting entertainment during these long, long months of lockdown. So if you'd like to buy us a coffee, please feel free to do so. There's a link to our donate page at the bottom of this video in the description um, and all all donations are put back into into pro, uh, producing new content so you can see the river here just zoom in and then you'll be able to see it there's a stripe of blue just visible above the the bushes in the distance so that's the river wire and as it goes from left to right, it's going from the seafront to the docks and up inland. <coughs> and then this, this is still the old um, container parking area. Comes in really handy for Tram Sunday, does that. And just as we get down here, we're approaching the area where the railway station was now this is a bit of a deja vu moment as well because we started doing videos in lockdown because we knew you we were all bored to death and you weren't going to be able to come to the to the seaside so we brought the seaside to you and once we were able to um go out a little bit more lockdown had not finished but last i would say probably june when when things started to come back a bit to normal this was one of the first places that we came to and i mistakenly said at the time that this area here going that way was where the railway station was when it wasn't it was that way and this is a beautiful building while we're just passing it this is the old fielding institute um, and originally that was Fleetwood Library as well. Absolutely beautiful building. It's in private ownership now. And the people that have got it have done a beautiful restoration on it. I'd love to go and have a look around inside. I bet it's absolutely stunning. And there is a, a page of information on our Visit Fleetwood website about that, which has got all the, there's far too much for me to remember. But it's got all the information, all the history, all the details, everything that you could want to know. So I'll pop you the link to that in the description as well. And as we get down here to the old loading gear, um, 
it's this area opposite Queen's Terrace, which is where the railway station was. very strange seeing everything so quiet in fact if I just show you down that one that's Fleetwood Market on the right hand side and you might be able to see the clock in the distance so that's at the um, market end of the town centre opposite St Peter's Church so you can see that we've walked in a straight line parallel to Lord Street <coughs> and as we get down here to Queen's Terrace, it's the land on the right hand side that was once the railway station. Now one of our viewers, um, a lovely lady called Brenda, is really interested in the past history of Fleetwood and she sent me a photograph that um, I think somebody had, had it on the wall in the house, somebody that she knew and it's actually a, a, a photograph of a picture of Fleetwood Railway Station. Um, so I'm saving that one to put online for you. I'll I'll make sure that um, I tell you when when we upload it. But it is a it is a cracker. And this building on the left hand side here that's got the scaffolding up that's Fleetwood Museum. And they've been doing a bit of an epic an epic. Um, restoration I think you could say because they set off originally intending to paint the render and when they started preparing it and getting it ready for painting they discovered that it was um, blown and in quite a quite a bad state so a painting job ended up becoming a complete complete refurb so they've had all the render off and it's all being re-rendered and that is going to look stunning when it comes down. Can't say any other. Just go a bit, a bit closer. Look at that. That's going to look beautiful and hopefully just in time for the end of coronavirus. So this is the, the loading gear that... Um, they used for loading the, the ships up, the ferries and the river wire and not end at the other side. And what a lovely day to be seeing it on. One of those lovely cold January days. It's actually quite warm when you get walking. It's lovely. I need to walk all those chocolates and sweets off that I ate at Christmas. <laughs> and that is Heesham Power Station. Can you see the white building at the other side of the... It's, it's focusing on the fence, unfortunately. There you go. The white building there... Can't, can't point to it. The white building there on the other side of the river is Heesham Power Station. So it's this, this is Queen's Terrace, this big stone building on the left hand side and opposite that was the railway station, so the railway station was just down here and that was, well, enormous, unbelievably busy because it was the only way to get to the Lake District and up north when the railway station was built, so, so Victorian travellers would come to Fleetwood by train and they would break their journey here by catching a, a steamboat <laughs> all the way to the Lake District and Cumbria and up towards Scotland. <clears throat> there weren't any railway lines at the time. Just imagine that. So this plot here is the site of the former railway station I think it's a bit inconsiderate I think they could have used a fence that had got a bit of a wider gap in it because it's it's lining my camera up to 
to focus on the fence instead of what's at the back of it. And this is Queen's Terrace. So imagine these back in the day, all overlooking, brand new, all overlooking um, a brand new railway station and all the people coming and going in the finery and the long dresses and the men in the top hats. It must have been quite a sight. And then people used to break the journey by stopping at the nearby hotel, which of course is the North Euston. And that's why it's called the North Euston, because it's the Euston of the North. There you go. And then now we're at the Esplanade. Goodness, that's been a walk. I'm getting my, getting my steps in today. I'll be able to move it morning. So I hope you've enjoyed this look around Fleetwood and the seafront and all of the lovely views and the, the dock area and seeing, seeing what contributes to the area's history. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and make sure that you've hit the bell for notifications as well. And then you'll get alerts when we upload new content. So from a beautiful sunny Fleetwood seafront, you have a lovely day and we will see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.